oldest house in Oneonta is turning 210 this year, and for those who know about the family who lived there, they may be amazed that it is still standing. Fox 40's Amy Hogan takes us inside the Swart Wilcox house. With no street address, the farmhouse sits on what's left of the land bought by Revolutionary War soldier Lawrence Swart, who built the house in 1807. Do come in. But it would be the Wilcox family who lived here the longest, over 100 years. Newlyweds Henry and Phoebe came down the hill from Franklin to settle in the house in 1867. But for Phoebe, a woman up with the times, there were a few things that needed improving. That whole wall was a brick fireplace. When Phoebe moved in, we can just hear her saying, I'm not moving into that house. Do you do something with that? fireplace. I'm not cooking on a fireplace in 1867. Those bricks were put to another use, insulating all the exterior walls of the house. Nobody knew they were there until we tried to redo the basement stone wall and they couldn't lift the house. It was five times heavier than it should be. While Phoebe liked her modern conveniences, Henry did not. He made that clear when the city began using his tax dollars to install electric street lamps. So he was quite upset and he made a broadside of how to do business, you know, how to make business good in Oneonta. He was sued. He ran into legal problems with the, the city. Henry Wilcox was so reckless with his money, his own wife wrote him out of her will. Because Henry would just fritter it away on lawsuits. <laughs> So worked up over street lights, other matters caught him completely off guard. Came from Franklin to Oneonta, found my wife sick. She was delivered of a son. He weighed nine pounds, born about noon this day. <laughs> Surprise! That's right. In May 1867, Henry Wilcox was in shock that his wife gave birth to their first child, a son, Fred. We don't know how aware Wilcox was when Phoebe had their second son, Mert. As for the brothers Wilcox, it appears they took after their father. Eccentric is the word we use. Yeah. <laughs> Together, Mert and Fred lived in this house until the 1970s without electricity, heat, or running water. A potbelly stove that the boys used as their only source of heat. They didn't even chop wood. And then they would go outside and they would bring in a tree trunk, the two of them, one on the front and one on the back. They would carry the tree trunk, put it in the fire, put the other end on a chair, and all day long as the fire burned, they would scooch the chair forward and scooch it a little forward until finally it was all burned up. We are amazed that the house is still here. Still standing, but the house suffered extensive smoke damage. So all of the windows, all of the walls, they were just covered in black. 47 years after the last Wilcox lived here, bits and pieces of their lives still remain. Henry's diaries, Phoebe's sewing machine, and burn marks on the floor from Fred and Mert's stove. In Oneonta, for Fox 40 HD News, I'm Amy Hogan.